Well, when you, you sit at home and you on one of these devices that we've all got and that are in our hands probably 80% of the day, 90% of the day, and you look on there and there's negative discrimination, discrimination on there, and that language is there and prominent for you to see. Self-esteem, um, your mental health is at risk, and it all depends as well sometimes where you are in your life. And some people are at a low ebb anyway, and then to see that as well um, just has further impact. Um, everybody receives this type of discriminative um, language very differently, but it does hurt. And again, it's, it's important to stress, it's not just about that person, it's the, it's the wider network of that person, um, what it does to them, friends and family. M me personally, I've, I've, felt, I've seen members of my family kind of disintegrate at times with situations like this. When it happens, I've seen other sports stars, family members take it worse than the actual person who's actually receiving the, this type of language through social media. Um, and it's, it's I, I think it's, it's, it, it's hard sometimes for people to, to understand. And some people say, oh yeah, but it's only coming on the phone. Just ignore it, turn it off. And that's what a lot of the social media platforms say when you speak to them. It's, it's down to the victim to report report it or put the blocks in place through turning certain things off on your, on your device so you don't see it. Well, that's not stopping the problem, is it? And I think that's an easy cop-out for the social media platforms when they, they, they put forward ideas like that in the way that we can kind of cross this situation.